Hey everyone, it's Steph from Scrap and Create, and we are working on Sonora. Sonora, it's the desert collection. So this is um, a pocket that we're going to add, and this pocket is four inches deep and nine inches across, and you're gonna score three of the four sides to make your lower pocket. And we're, we're adding this to an eight by eight pocket page, eight by eight pocket page. If you're new to the channel, I organize all the projects based on the paper collection. So this is Chow Bella and the collection is Sonora. If you go to that playlist, the first video is the walkthrough, which goes over all the details of the finished um, album. And then the second video is the base album build, which includes building of the pockets and the cover for the album. The subsequent videos add all the interactive components and decorator paper to the project. And I organize them by page. So page one will be um, adding the interactive elements and the design paper. And then page two will have its own video. I do that so you don't have to go look for a second page within or a third page within a given video. So each page is independent, has an independent uh, video. Sorry, I gotta tell you what this is. This is four and three quarters, four and three quarters by eight. Four and three quarters by eight. Oops. There we go. Now, when you get done, you should have this little half inch gap here. It's actually a little less than a half inch. So there should be a gap here. And the reason that we're gonna have a gap is because we're gonna have an insert and that's what's gonna hold the flap down. Okay, so this is from, hmm, I gotta check, I think it's from the 8x8 collection pack. Yeah, it's from the 8x8 collection pack. Yes, for sure. So this is from the 8x8 collection pack. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And then this is also from the 8x8. So these three are from the 8x8 collection pack, and then this large gecko sheet is from the 12x12 pack. And honestly, I'm using, um, I'm trying to decide where I want to put the gecko versus, um, I'm using the uh, backgrounds and the collection pack in the 12x12, and um, once I open the packs, it's really hard to keep track of, keep track of them, because there's no header on each sheet. So just know that I'm using one of each of those 12 by 12s and an eight by eight so far. I'll let you know if that changes as we proceed. I like this particular uh, flap design because you don't have to have a magnet. It's kind of nice to have a few spots in your album where you're not relying on, on magnets or swing tabs. I'm going to put the, um, the decorative edge up on the top of the pocket. Yeah. There we go. So now I need to make a decision. Do I want that or this? And I kind of like that. So this would make for a nice little photo spot right here. I've got it inked. Okay. One of the things I like to do when I'm doing the pocket liner is add glue to the back um, and then leave the leading edge, the edge that's going down into the pocket. That's pretty too, but I think this suits is, um, this will go better. This stripe will go better with my planned cover. Yeah. Um, leave that leading edge without glue so it slides into the pocket and then if you have to back it out of the pocket you're not leaving a trail of glue behind it so and if, you, if you've been with us on the channel for a while you hear me say that all the time but you know we do get uh, new viewers and um, i think it does help to understand how we organize our projects and then i like to just drop some of these tips here and there for any of the new newer viewers
and it's inside the pocket, probably somewhere between a quarter inch and a half inch. So it should be in there pretty good. Okay, so then that means we're gonna use this up here and have to trim it to fit. I cut them both large so I could make up my mind at the last minute. So I'm gonna take a strip off this. ink that. Ooh, I overfilled my glue bottle. Looks like it's ready to go. Okay, now I've got a card that's gonna go in here and, and hold that flap in place, and I cut this from the 8x8 collection pack. So I'm going to use this as the main part of the design, and then I'm gonna add this down to the bottom so it'll be a little bit taller. And I think these are four by four. Yeah, so the card that I'm laying it on is eight and a quarter. And you're gonna score it at, in half, which is at uh, four and one eighth. And then I'll tell you the height as soon as I add the lower piece. After I added this strip, um, it I think I think I told you this was from the eight by eight, but it's not. It came from the twelve by twelve. So sorry about that. This came from the twelve by twelve. So did this. And that means this did too. So the only thing that came from the six by six, I think, is this, which I need to verify by looking at the scale of the twelve by twelve. Sorry about that, guys. That was very confusing. So once I added this trim on the bottom, it wound up being six inches tall. So it's six by eight and a quarter, and then you have your card. And I'm gonna verify where that came from real quick. There's only one of each, <laughs> I think there's only one of each design, so. That's it, yeah. So here's the 12 by 12, that is from the eight by eight. All right, sorry about that. So just to be clear, <laughs> this is from the eight by eight. This, this, and this are all from the 12 by 12. And this is from the 12 by 12. 
All right. I might put another insert in here, but it's really going to depend on how the rest of the album goes and how how well uh, my paper distribution goes. But if I can, I'll put another insert in here that's even a little bit larger, sort of frame what's in here already. Okay, that's it for now. Back soon.